What's up YouTube friends? So today I'm going to make these little Hershey Nugget Packs. This is not my idea. They've been all over the internet for years and years now. I was debating whether even to make this into a video, but these are the little things I do every day, so why not bring you along? So here is what mine will look like when they're done. I'll be giving these to co-workers, stocking stuffers, the Amazon man, people like that. This is a really easy craft, but it is kind of time consuming, but it is the perfect thing to get the family together and do while you're watching a movie or TV or listening to a podcast or something like that. So here is all the measurements that you will need, and I'll run through these as we go piece by piece. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock. This is a heavier cardstock, like an 80 weight, and this is going to be for the tray. Then I picked out three Christmas prints that I liked, and this is just regular old scrapbook paper. I got kind of a white, a green, and a red. And I got this paper from the Vintage Christmas Paper Crafting Kit from the Paper Studios, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. And this one actually comes with uh, little tags, stickers, as well as some um, letter stickers too. And for the packaging, I have some clear two and a half by eight inch long pretzel bags. I got these up by Amazon and I'll link them down below. For the tags, I'll be using these cute little gnomes that I've had left over from a couple years ago. And I bought this image off of Etsy and then I just printed it out and cut it out on my Cricut. I got a spool of twine. I'll also be using my tape runner here. And the star of the show are these Hershey Nuggets. You're gonna need six of them. And today I have plain milk chocolate and milk chocolate toffee almond. I thought that would be good. So when I put these in the packaging, I'm gonna alternate them. And I thought the silver and gold looked really pretty together. So the first thing I do is wrap the nuggets. So I just go ahead and I put one of each color by each nugget. Now on the back of one of the pieces of paper, I'm just going to add a little glue to the top and the bottom. I'm going to make sure my flap to my nugget is face down. And I'm just going to line up my paper in the middle and wrap it around. Just like that. Next, we're going to grab our tray piece. Now, this measures two and one eighth by six and a half. Now I'm going to use my little scoreboard here. You can get these pretty inexpensive. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a ruler and your bone folder. But we're going to come in 3 eighths of an inch from each side. So that's just three little notches over. And we're going to score it. So I'm just going to turn around the paper and do the same thing. So now I'm just going to bend it at those score marks and that's going to create our little tray. Just like that. And now we're just going to add our little chocolates. So I'm going to alternate the colors. So now I'm just going to take my bag. I like to make sure that the flat part seals towards the back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and seal it. Just 
like that. Then I'm just going to take about 24 inches of this twine and I like to wrap it around like the top nugget. Be sure to leave yourself a little tail. And you don't want to wrap it really tight. But I'm just going to take one of my little gnome tags and I just stamped to and from on it. And then I'm just going to tie it on. Now I went ahead and I punched a little hole in each one of the pom-poms. And then just tie a simple little bow. Isn't that so cute? So thanks for coming along on this quick video. I have all of these made. Now I just have to wrap them with the twine and put the little gnomes on them. So I have some work to do. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next time.